Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own snowflake. I just made two, just to show you guys. Um, you will really only need two things for this, unless you want to hang it. You will need one piece of paper and scissors. Alright, now if you want to hang it from like the ceiling for like a party or something, then you would also need um, hole punchers and something to hang it with. Alright, now... You could also make a rectangular snowflake, and today I'm going to show you how to make a circular snowflake. Alright, to make a rectangular snowflake, you fold the paper in half one way, then in half another way. Alright, now if someone would tell me how to, um, any viewers that are watching would um, like to show me how to, um, like put a link down at the bottom where it says, like, um, fast forward to blank or put a link in for like any um, other of my videos I would really appreciate that alright so what you first want to do is you want to take this corner well one of the corners and you want to fold it to the other side kind of like that and then you want to line up this corner and that corner and then you want to crease it but I have to put the camera down because I don't have enough hands but I'm just lining it up making sure that this corner is good and then you want as straight as possible because um, the straighter the better alright there we go and now you just want to um, cut this tab off also if um, someone would like to um, tell me how to fast forward it I would greatly appreciate that alright now you just want to keep cutting this edge off and make sure that it's neat because mm, neatness counts. So that. Alright, there we go. Now you just want to put that off to the side. Now, for the square and circle, um, you want to unfold your um, paper and then you want to fold it one mo in half one way. And then when it's like this, you want to fold it in half the opposite way. So, just take one side, it's a square, they're all going to be even. Line them up, line the um, edges and up. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold mine in half the other way. Making a miniature square. Or a miniature rectangle, doesn't matter. Alright, now. Um, you should have something that looks like this. Unless you're making a rectangle. Um. Now, on both ends, there's going to be a point where you folded it, which is the middle of the paper. That's going to be the middle of your um, snowflake also. So, you do not want to, like, if you're making a circle, you do, or you do not want to, like, trim that off. Because, um, that would not work. But you can, like, take a little edge off for uh, some decoration in the middle. And now it's your personal design. So I'm just going to cut this off a little bit. And for those people, there we go. For those people that want to know how to make a circle, there's a few ways. Um way 1 is you just like trim it each like this. And if I knew how to fast forward, I would fast forward this part. So, if any of those kind people would like to tell me how to fast forward, I would greatly appreciate that. And of course, how to put links up and things like that. Alright. Yeah. Piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Alright. Now, when you do this, um, you can open it up from time to time to see how it looks like. This isn't the best. <laughs> this is the best one. Um, remember, um, everything on this will be the exact same. Um, another way is, hold on, let me find where that circle is. It's right here. Alright. Another way is you start from one end. I'm, I'm going to start from the, um, one right here. This is the, um, edge. I'm going to start right here. And you just want to go all the way around, making a quarter of a circle. So, let me do this and then I'll show you what it looks like.
Alright, there we go. So, and then I'm going to open it up. And now it's not the best circle I know, but it's, it's okay. Um, now, for decoration on the ends, you can just do little snips, like, um, I'm just gonna, I make these, kind of like that, and, um, I'll show you what that looks like, hold on. And you can make as many of these as you want. Like, that's what it looks like. Kind of, um, diamond shape. Alright, now I'm just gonna, um, make my own little decoration at the ends. Alright. And if I knew how to fast forward, you wouldn't have to watch this boring part. But, I don't know how. Alright. Now, one thing I have to say. If you want to get it in the middle, you have to um, do two things. One, you have to bend it um, wherever you want it. Like, say I want it right here and right here. I would have to bend right here. Um, try and keep it together the best you can. And I'd have to cut down on that just a little slit. Um, so when you undo it, you can fit your scissors in there. And then, ah, hold on. Okay, and then, like, do whatever you want in here. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys how to make a heart. Because some people may want to make a heart. Like, if it's for Valentine's Day or something like that. Um, I will have more videos on, like, Valentine's cards and catchy things to say for them. If you're completely stuck. Alright, there we go. So, say, say you wanted to make a heart, like on, um, since this is a flat side, you would have to make only half of the heart, and half of the heart looks like, or you could, um, on a piece of paper, just draw a full heart, and then all you have to do is fold the paper in half. And there is your half of heart. Um, this is how I draw a half of heart. Oh, I'm here. Let me see. I hold it like this. Okay. Like that, sort of. Oops, kind of drew on my ping pong table. Alright. Actually, I'm going to do it better. That's, that's terrible. Um,. There we go. Just like that. Alright, but it's your choice. Okay. Now. Better get this rolling to show you guys how to hang this if you want to hang it. Alright, when you think you're done, just open it up. And look at your results. And you can always come back and um, add new things. But remember, you can never take it away because you already cut it out. So, just know that. So you can check from like time to time um your snowflake just by opening it up all right there we go and i think i'm gonna do yeah let's do it like that all right so here's my snowflake all right now um you can be done if you want it's your choice um now i'm gonna show you how to hang it though so you pick a side, um, for the rectangle, you can do, uh, the top or bottom, uh, but, um, don't get, if you have something that looks like this, do not put it on here, you would want it on the base. Um, do not put, you can, I would recommend on a diagonal or straight on, and you want a pretty thick part, so I'm just gonna put mine right here. Alright, so when you hole punch it, you don't want it on the edge, because then that won't be a good hole. So, sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm going in to about here on mine. And, um, don't go in too far, like, going right off the edge. Alright. 
There we go. Just a little hole. Okay, now. Get whatever you're hanging it with. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find an end. And where are you? Okay, here we go. Now, the length, the, um, how much you want to hang it is your choice. So, say I wanted to hang it about this much. This much. Um, what you would want to do is, whoops, you want to straighten this out. Okay, and now, you have to double your length. So, if you want it, ah. Uh, this long, ah, darn. This long, you have to um come back again, like that. So hold on, let me see if I can show you that better. So um, if you want it, however long you want it, um, you would have to stop where you want it, and then you'd have to double it by pinching, and then coming back down again. And right there is where you would clip it. So since I already measured that out, I'm just going to cut it. And I would recommend cutting a little less so it's even, like that. Alright, now, you want to make a little knot. But first, don't make the knot yet. <laughs> Sorry for about this. Um, you just want to string one end through. Bring it out the other side. Take both ends. It doesn't matter if it's even, just don't make sure that your strings aren't like tangled like this, like a braid. Um, you don't want that. So just tie it. Um, don't do one knot. I would recommend like two or three. It depends on what you have though. So, um, if you have string like me, I'm doing about four. Four is about good for me. Alright, and now you can like hang it on your Christmas tree or something like that. Now, say you wanted to hang it on like a book bag zipper. Before you tie that, um, you would have to put it through the book bag zipper. So there's your snowflake, and you can say you wanted to change it for any reason, just fold it back up, and make sure not to cut the string off, cause that would really suck. Alright guys, have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and all that crap, um, and I hope you really do make this cause this is a good tree thing. Um, please comment or, um, on how this went for you and um, send me a video or a picture of your snowflake that you created. And also please, please, please message me, comment, video, respond me on how to make a link, um, fast forward, and um, like a subtitle. Um, please rate five stars and give it a thumbs up. And I will be making making more videos shortly so please subscribe to stay tuned for them all right guys